and hello everyone, this is PK Yu-Gi-Oh! Welcome to the channel, it's good to have you. So, I am very excited. Uh, today, as of this recording, October 15th, is the release of the new OCG core set, Photon Hypernova. And um, I went, normally I open two boxes of these, but I went and I got three. Uh, this one, one of these I, I specifically reserved at my local card shop. One of them, uh, I had a small break at work, and so I ran over to the local games to the, the nearby like, game store as fast as I could. Uh, to buy one, and then a third box I just got on the way back when I picked up my reserved copy. Um, I was actually very surprised. Uh, they actually had quite a few of these boxes left, and I wasn't exactly sure why. Um, my friend on the OCG says it's because this is not a collector set. This is a set for competitive players. Um, and one of the reasons why you know that is because they don't. there's no waifu card. Uh, a lot of these courses up to this point has had a waifu card that people want as like a high rarity. Power of the Elements had uh, Tierlin Shiren, it had Kate Kalos, it had uh, Curry Card, Dim Incarnation, Darkwing Blast had Muckraker from the Underworld, and Tierlin Brulu Kalos. And I think, what, I mean, uh, Battle of Chaos. I don't really know what was in Battle of Chaos, but uh, it wasn't that, that good in the set either. I guess Battle of Chaos had a lot of, like, Dark Magician nostalgia. Um, so, what's in the set? Well, obviously, Photon stuff. Lots of Photon and Galaxy cards. Uh, Kastura get a lot of new support. Uh, a lot of really good support. We're looking for to pull a few of those cards. Uh, Gish there's some Gishki cards in here. Uh, we will get some support, I guess. Abyss Actors get a little more support. Um, cards are good for the archetype, but they're not that great in the grand scheme of things. And yeah, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I cannot wait to open these boxes and show you what we get. So if you don't know how OCG boxes work, each pack has five cards per pack, and there are 30 packs per box. Um, for the first, from the quote-unquote first edition uh, run of these boxes, if I want to call it that, they all have this, the bonus one pack here. Uh, I, you get an extra pack with a foil that can ha that has any one of the foils from the set, uh, super all the way up to a Starlight. Uh, however, there is one card, one card that always comes Starlight as a reprint, and only comes in the bonus packs. Uh, so for this set, it is number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. If we pull that, that would be amazing. But I'm not expecting that. Uh, so OCG boxes do not have uh, guaranteed super rares like they do the TCG. They do have guaranteed rares. So, you know, each super rare is, is harder to find than, you know, a TCG super rare. In exchange, though, the, bo the, the, the sets are smaller, right? You get 80, there are 80 cards per set. And all the foil cards can come in multiple different rarities, right? Super, all supers and ultra rares can come as secrets, but only ultras can come as ultimate rares. Because yeah, OCG still has ultimate rares. So we're gonna start from the from the left, and we're gonna uh, crack open these boxes one at a time. So I'll go through the first one pretty slowly to show off any uh, any cards I think are interesting. We're talking about. So let's see what we get. And. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so if you if you haven't seen the Darkling Blast opening that I did on my channel, please check it out if you haven't. Um, this part of the box has a cutout token. Um, I believe usually it's an ultra rare in the set. It's a, one, uh, a given ultra rare. One ultra rare plus the cover card. So this is uh, number C62, Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Uh, I believe the other one is it's that insect monster. Uh, Crown, tree, em uh, arm emperor, something like that. Uh, so there's our one, one bonus pack. We're going to set that aside. And we got 30 packs of Photon Hypernova. I'm, I'm super excited to, to crack this open. A lot of the Castro cards that I'm looking for, I'm looking, looking, looking for those, and those are kind of high rarity. The, the good ones are high rarity, obviously. Um, but there's one other card that we're looking for, uh, Triple Tactics Tasking. If you don't know what that card is, I will point it out to you when we see it. Uh, it's a rare. So it's going to it's not very expensive. Uh, it probably will be at the TCG, but, you know, rare luck in the OCG usually means that you will probably expect to only get maybe one rare a box. Um, if you're lucky, maybe two. So we're going to try to get a playset of Tactics Tasking out of three boxes. So, uh, any further ado, get cracking. So, I'm going to try to go through very slow. So we got, oh, that's right, Ninjas. Ninjas got a, got a few more support cards in here. That's one of the new Weevil. Google cards. It's a galaxy support. Oh, yes, I was looking at this card. This is branded light. I just like the art of this card. It's kind of hard to see. If I get a little closer, it's, it's 
really not that good because my camera's not that great. Uh, this is really good. So this is, you, you can only activate one on the per turn. You target a fusion monster on the field or in the graveyard, put it back in the extra deck, and then you can summon a Fallen of Albats from your graveyard and then one monster from your opponent's graveyard. So you can summon out the Albats, get back an opponent's monster, and then you can use Albats on summon. Uh, but I just love the artwork on this card. This art is sick. Uh, I'll try to have a better picture uh, for you on screen. But yeah, I was, I was really uh, hoping I got this card. And, well, right off the bat, there's our ultimate rare. So I believe this is, this is, uh, Gran... Dignol? Dignol. Uh, this is, this is the fusion monster that goes with Blazing Cartesia the Virtuous. So if you don't know what this is, this is a level... Two, four, this is a level 8 light spellcaster. Requires Cartesia the Virtuous plus a lighter dark monster, so like a Despia. Um, you can only use the first and second of this card once per turn. If this card is uh, fusion summoned, you can send one level six or higher lighter dark monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. Uh, and then if this, and then let's see, if the, and then if your opponent special summons a monster with a card effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard to summon a Dogmatica monster from your deck or a Despia monster from your extra deck. Um, I mean, I guess this would be like the the. Wow, that actually, or, or, this, I guess it would be like a waifu card, but even then, this is not much of a waifu card. This card is quite quite good. Um, I kind of want to play it in Despia. I still have my branded deck. So I'll check that last deck. Sorry, if your opponent, sorry, if it's if your opponent special summons a monster using a monster effect, so it's not as good. Like you can't trigger this on like, uh, say, I don't know, like a, like a polymerization. Don't leave that right there. Here we go. So I start off really strong with our ulti. Yeah, uh, so I didn't mention this earlier, but you can expect out of any given box to get one ultra, uh, one ulti, one secret, and then maybe like two or three ultras, maybe like four supers. Oh, sorry, this is an, another beasted, another beasted monster. I think this he's okay. <laughs> oh, I, I love this card. This is, um, this is after twenty something years, we now have a way to search Fissure and Smashing Ground. The, yeah, this is during the main phase. You can add a fissure or smashing ground from the deck to your hand, and then you can, if it's in your graveyard, you can banish a fissure or smashing ground uh, from your hand or graveyard and special summon it. Uh, this this is a cute card. I like it. Uh, Abyss, new Abyss script. This Abyss script is actually quite good. And this is, I think, Galaxy Hundred. For Galaxy, this card is not bad. I like it a lot. You basically get to rip cards out of your opponent's extra deck. Alright, oh, this is the new generator. That's right, there is a new generator card in here. I don't know what she does, though. I think she's okay. Invested. This is, I think this is Chaos. Chaos Core. Core of Chaos. Sorry, Chaos Core. Core of Chaos. That's gonna be, that's gonna be confusing, because there already is a card called Chaos Core. Another Branded Light. That's good. And this is another Evil Eye card. I don't know if the yeah, Evil Eye is uh, any good or not. Alright, pack number three. So far, I like this box has not, you know, spoiled the secret too early. Um, we're looking for prismatic if possible. Uh, this is, I believe this is Choju of the Trillion Hands. Uh, if it's summoned, you add a ritual monster and a ritual spell. This is really good. Hey, you can search Benten. This is Benten and, and Medium's Drytron, I guess. Uh, Fist Actors. This is one of the, the free agent cards. He's okay. Actually, no, I think he's pretty bad. Uh, this is, well, this is Branded Guidance. This is a new card for Beasted, or Bestial. And, ah, we got the, uh, this is the Plunder Patrol. This is the Plunder Patrol finally has an Earth ship. Uh, he's actually, this card is actually quite good. So, Pendulum Effect is, you can declare one attribute, and then return this card to the extra deck, and then you can special summon a Plunder Patrol token. Uh, level four dark, level four fiend, uh, attack defense is zero. Both players fields with, with the declared attribute. That's his pendulum effect. Um, but he's got a lot of text, he got a lot of box to go through. So I'll leave the text up on screen. He's pretty good, I think. This card, that card's actually quite strong. All right, so can we get a super rare shield? Oh, I thought it was not prismatic. <laughs> uh, this card is funny, couple of ace. This is a couple of ace on a monster. Uh, generator. Million hands, giant ball shoot. This is uh, like more insect support. 
Okay, okay, this is unfortunate. Uh, this is a Valiance. This is like Abyssal Valiance. Arctis 12. I think he's okay for the Archetype. He's a scale 12 fusion pendulum monster, but not what you want to see. Not really what you want to see. It doesn't make Valiance any better. Or like, like playable, so it's you know, kind of wasted the secret or slot. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, again, we're, not, we're looking for the secrets, we're looking for the low rarity stuff. All right. Uh, if we can get like super rare, if we get like uh, the other Kashura supers and the ultras, that'd be that'd be great. Oh, there's the speaking of Kashura. There's this is our first one. This is Kashura Tillman. Uh, you played in the deck. He's okay. Ooh, ooh, nice. You got the field spell. Perfect. So I'll go over the field spell in a bit. So this is Chaos Witch. You could only use the first and second on this card. Oh, sorry, only one effect this card per turn and only once that turn. Also. The turn you activate either of this card's effects, you cannot summon monsters from the extra deck except for light or dark synchro monsters. Uh, you contribute this card to special summon a dark beast, a black beast token, a level two dark fiend with a thousand attack, fifteen hundred defense. Sorry, you summon two of them. And then if this card is banished from your hand or graveyard. You can summon a White Beast token, which is a... Sorry, you can summon two White Beast tokens. These are Light Fairy Tuners. Level 2, 500 attack, 1,000 defense. I think this card's okay, but the Chaos stuff is you know, kind of mid. This is actually the Chaos stuff from uh, The Shining Darkness. And, ooh, and this card. This is the this is the Cash Tier of Field spell, and this card is really good. Uh, you can only activate one on this card. Don't activate one card uh, on this card per turn. And you can only use the third effect of the card once per turn. Uh, when this card is activated, you can add a caster monster from your deck to your hand. Duh. Let's see. Uh, all monsters you control gain attack, gain 100 attack and defense for each monster on the field with a different attribute. And then... If you activate the effect of Kshatra Shangri-La, or Kshatra Shangri-La, you can target one card in the field, destroy it. This card's really good. Uh, searches Fenrir. I'm looking to pull three of these. This card is important. I want to build Kastras. I'll try to have a deck profile for you soon if I get all this stuff. And uh, yeah, this card is necessary. Ooh, speaking of which, there's another Kastra. This is Kastra Scareclaw. This is another Chaos Monster. Uh, Mental Tuner. This is Photon Retardation. This is the actual name of the card. Uh, I forget what, it, what the organization localized it as. This is like a turn skip. And ooh, Chaos Mirage Dragon. I guess Mardrag is pretty good too. Uh, I think it's like you can summon a banished light or dark monster, and if it uses its synchro material, you can banish cards. I like that card. I like the new chaos stuff, even though it's not that good. Uh, more evil eye. Uh, this card is. Look this card up. Look this effect up. This card is really funny. It's so bad. Uh, Galaxy Karibo. Another cast your spell. Good. And this is the Ice Jade card. This Ice Jade card, I remember being pretty strong, actually. Uh, so you can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. If your opponent, if there's a monster on your opponent's field or graveyard, and and you control a water attribute monster. You can take one Ice Jade monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Uh, if an Ice Jade monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card except by being destroyed, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one card your opponent controls, banish it. This card's pretty good too. At least for Ice Jades. I wish Ice Jades were better. <laughs> kind of a shame that they're not. Uh, let's see. Okay. Going. Uh, this is uh, this is this the fierce tiger uh, monflu. This is supposed to be like another version of King Tiger Wanghu. Oh, that's right. Uh, this is one of the new Gishki cards. This card is actually quite good. You can summon if it's summoned. You can just uh, like summon a Gishki from your deck. The Kashur card, good. And oh, this is big. Welcome Labyrinth. This card, that's, this card is really good. Summon a Labyrinth from your hand deck or grave, and then bounce a monster. Uh, but and the other effect is, I think, like you can target a card in the field and turn it to the hand. So target a card you control, turn it to the hand. But if you have a level eight or higher feed monster, you can target a card your opponent controls. 
That card's really good too. That's just that's a lot of like really really cute stuff in this set. I wish I had time to go over all of it, but I don't. Ooh, Ixie's monster. Oh, this is Generator Boss of Shadow Levitane. Uh, so two or more level nine monsters. Only control one Levitane Generator Boss of Shadow. All monsters your opponent controls lose a thousand attack and defense. Um, during either player's turn, you contribute this Xyz summon card. Special summon a a generator Xyz monster, except a fairy monster, from your extra deck, and then then you can attach cards from either player's field or graveyard to that monster as material up to the number of materials this card had when it was tributed. And nice! There's a second one. That's the second one. That's really good. Um, so looking at the three boxes, probably looking to get a playset. That's pretty good. Uh, all, we, all we need next is uh, Triple Tactics Task. So that's... This is uh, Insect Basic Insect Armor. Weevil Support. Core. This is Numeron Creation. And... Ooh! Okay, so this is... Like... This is the Arm Emperor. Because, like Tree Canopy Emperor, Arm Emperor Baragram. Uh, you can't normal summon or set this card. It must be a spe uh, special summon from your from your hand or grave by banishing three plant and or insect monsters. Um, and you only use only special in this card once per turn. While it's face upon the field, uh, your opponent can activate monster effect in response to your spell and trap activations. Uh, once per turn, you can destroy every monster on the field except for plant and insect monsters, but this only this card, or this card cannot attack directly. Uh, I'm interested. I'm curious to try this out in Naturia. I feel like this card might be uh, interesting. Just don't have the the numbers necessary for it. Steel, Galaxy, this actor, another. Oh, this is like evenly matched, but for monsters. You point it like if they have two more monsters than you, they have to send monsters to the grave to like control one. And oh, this is uh, chaos. The new chaos synchro. This is like chaos beast. Card cards okay. All right, coming up on the end of the right side. Evil eye. Ooh, okay, okay. This is. So I'll cover this just a second. More Gishiki. This is the new uh, Gishiki Aquamere. I don't know. If, I, it's like Gishiki. This is like like ice, ice, ice mirror or something like that. Uh, so this is perfect great insect. Um, so it requires a level eight insect monster and a level seven insect monster, or uh, you can special summon it by tributing a insect monster with two thousand or more defense. That has an equipped card on it. This is supposed to, looks like supposed to be like a combination of Great Moth and uh, Insect Queen. Uh, let's see. This card cannot control a battle, and if there's a face card in the field zone during the battle phase, you play the battle phase, quick effect, you can destroy all monsters, other monsters on the field. Sorry, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Nice card for Beat Trooper, I guess. If Beat Trooper, like, I guess you can summon off a Pycophalina if you equip like a Resonance Insect, and then you can banish those Resonance Insects with for, for, for Bear Grass. Tiros. This is the Ninja Field spell and a uh, Photon Emperor. All right, this is the last pack on the right side. Oh, I think we got it. Yes, we got it. Perfect, perfect. Oh, this is Gigantic Thundercross. This is one of the like, Spriggan related cards, and yes, we got it. Okay, this is. I was looking for this card. This is the Ultra Rare Shatra Arise Heart. So, he requires three level seven monsters. He's a dark machine for some reason. Um, so you, once per turn, so you can summon him normally. Or once per turn, if you have activated the effect of Castra Shangri La, the rank uh, rank seven from Darkwing Blast, you can exceed some of this card using any Castra monster you control's material. He's a walking macrocosmos. Each time a card gets banished, you can attach one of those cards to this card's material, and then once per turn, you can detach three materials from this card. 
and then target a card in the field, banish it face down. Yeah, this card is really good. Uh, I'm looking to get another copy of him. Uh, from what I understand, you need two copies for him in the deck. The one that we're looking for is the level four, Castro Riseheart. He is a super rare. And we haven't seen him yet. All right, so now we're going on the left side. Scareclaw, another Chaos card, and this is Photon Galaxy Dragon. Or is it Galaxy Photon Dragon? I forget. It's like, just, it's like, uh, I think it's Galaxy Photon Dragon. It's supposed, it's supposed to be like Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, but just like, worse. This, this card is really good. This is a Scareclaw, a uh, card for Scareclaw. Apparently this card is actually quite strong um, for them. For those of you who don't know who I don't like Scareclaw, I've I played multiple games against them. I've played Tillman against them and I've never beaten them. Uh, they're just too good. Yes! There it is! We got it. Okay, so this is Triple Tactics Tasking. This is the card that people in, in the team were freaking out over. So if you don't know what this does, if your opponent has activated a monster effect this turn, you can set a spell or trap card directly from your deck, but it cannot be activated this turn. However, if your opponent controls a monster, you can add it to your hand instead. This card is bonkers strong. Uh, I don't think it's like as, as strong as maybe people give it credit for, but people think it is. Like, this card is really, really, really good. Um, but I, I'm I'm still holding, reserving judgment for this card. I want to see how good it becomes in the OCG. Like you can search out D Barrier, and you can search out uh, Artifact Sanctum, but you could, but you know, people, you could, you could still do that off of like Dag, and people really weren't playing Artifact Scythe. So I'm curious to see what it does. And maybe it gets Scythe banned in the OCG. This is another Cashier card, and nice. Also a card I was looking for. This is Gigantic Captain Sargus. Here, this is this is a Fire. Earth, sorry, Fire Machine Monster requires two or more level eights. Um, you can, once per turn, you can also exceed some of this card by using a Spriggan's Exceeds Monster as material. So any, and there's a rank four Spriggan, so that's generic. Um, once per turn, this card, you can only each effect this card once per turn. If this card has Exceeds material, you can add a Spriggan's card or a Therian's card from your deck to your hand. Yeah, just like casually search Regulus. Um, and then the other effect is, if a if a, if a season material is attached from a monster, you can target a card in the field, either destroy it or return it to the hand. This card is amazing. This card is really good. If only it was a Spriggins, it would be even more insane. I'm kind of tempted to, to like either break out my Altherian core or like kind of like try it in Spriggins. Actors. Oh, this is, oh, this is one of the sharpening cards. Uh, you target three monsters in your graveyard, and your opponent either picks, I think it's either your opponent either lets you summon that monster, or uh, you summon the other two. <laughs> this card's really funny. And oh, this, this is Super Producer, uh, the new Abyss Actor pendant, uh, Link. He's actually quite good. He's good for the archetype, but you know, Abyss Actors are, are very middling archetype overall. Uh, this is this is uh, Gishki support. This card's really good. Not once per turn. It's just search the Gishki monster. What the Blunder Patrol? Alright. Well, I, mean, I guess we got him. Yeah, one of the things in the OCG is you can get the same card, same foil uh, in, a, in, a in, a, in a box. So I got him. Super Rare and the Secret Rare version of the same card. Not a card I would have liked to see, but you know, that's fine. Okay. Tally Ho Spriggans! I like that card. That's like the name, there's nothing else. Ooh, this is the Ice Jade. This is an Ice Jade Synchro. This card is actually quite good. Level 10. Requires a water tuner plus one or more non tuners. You can only use the first or second effect of this card once per turn. Uh, during either player's turn. You can activate this effect this turn 
All face-up monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effect or destroyed. Sorry, you put... Uh, sorry. Um, once per turn... Sorry. Uh, I, I, let, me, let me start all that over. Uh, once per turn, quick effect. You can activate this effect. This turn, your monsters, face-up monsters you control cannot be tar destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effects. Uh, if this effect is activated in response to an opponent's card effect, and there is a card with the same name on your opponent's field or graveyard, banish all copies. And the second effect is, if this card is in your graveyard, and a card is banished by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card. I like this thing a lot. This card's actually quite strong. It requires a water tuner, which kind of sucks, but... Well, actually, no, it requires a water tuner, but it's level 10? 10, I think. Level 10, so, you know, let's play it in Sword Soul. That sounds pretty, that sounds pretty good, huh? Uh, new Dogmatica card. And that's right, this is the new Tillman's Field spell. It's basically just Parallel Rhino, but it can't search and it doesn't and it doesn't pop cards. It just sends an aqua. Nothing too special in that pack. Alright, coming up on the end, we're gonna get to the, the bonus pack very soon. Uh, this is kind of unfortunate. We haven't pulled a single one of the of that Kashtura super that I'm looking for. You need three of him. He's basically, you know, uh, I don't know what he is. He's basically like the rhino heart of Castorus, right? Every every archetype in that Visa Starfrost lore has a heart monster. There's Reichheart, there's uh, Reichheart for uh, Scareclaw, and there's Rhino Heart for Killerman. Ooh, this is, uh, this, this is Long Wan. This is like Abyssal Sword Soul, uh, Sword Soul Dragon. Uh, so he also cannot be normal summoner set. Uh, must be special by the effect of a worm monster. You only use a first and second effect of this card once per turn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, and a monster is banished by a card effect, you can special summon this card. But banish it if it leaves the field. If this card is special summoned, you can target one card in the field zone, and one monster on your opponent's field or graveyard, banish them. He's okay. I guess you can play him in Sword Soul, but Sword Soul doesn't really have a field spell. I guess you could summon off a Yazi, huh? Okay. Alright, last two packs of the first box. Big welcome library. We got two of that. So, uh oh, we're so I think this is I think we are out of foil. So I don't think this card is gonna be. I don't think this uh, this pack's gonna have anything too special. Yeah, that's all right. Well, we have the bonus pack. So the bonus pack can have anything. It can have a super, an ultra, a secret. Can I have a secret? I think. Uh, or a prismatic. We're looking for that prismatic. Come on. Or that uh, prismatic, or that super uh, caster, caster. Uh, I think it's rise heart. Ready, three, two, one. Easy, easy. So this is Eva Gishki Nuremas. Nuremas. I don't know how what it's going to be localized as. So this is a level ten water spellcaster ritual. Must be ritual summoned with a ritual with a Gishki ritual card. Uh, it only is. Actually, no, it's not even. These effects are not uh, once per turn per card name. If this card is ritual summoned, you can target one water monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Um, this card cannot be a battle with a monster summoned from the extra deck. And then once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can return one Gishki Ritual Monster you control to the hand. Uh, and if you do, negate the activation and then return that card to the deck. This is not a bad Gishki Ritual card, but it's a, it's a Starlight. We got the Starlight already. So that was 
honestly, honestly, that, that was a pretty okay box. You got the Starlight. The secret was kind of bad, but we got a lot of the caster stuff that we needed. And we got triple tactics tasking. So I'm going to do a little cut. And uh, we're going to start with the, the second box. Right, and so thanks to the power of editing magic, we are back uh, with the second box of Photon Hypernova. So right now, we, got a, we checked off a lot of the cards that uh, I needed. So okay, we're just looking for Castro Rise Heart. We're looking for another Castro Overheart. Uh, more Triple Tactics Taskings. And, I mean, if we get, like, a second spoiler, that'd be, that'd be amazing. But, you know, I already pulled one, and, and I'm pretty happy with that one. Uh, I'm trying to pull a Starlight from every OCG box. Oh, oh, Starlights are, are easier to pull in the OCG. They are about one every four boxes, as opposed to the god awful ratios they are in the TCG. So, uh, we got another, uh, another C62. We actually haven't pulled this card yet. I kind of want to see it. Uh, I, I actually, for a time, I did have a uh, Photon Galaxy deck, and that was a lot of fun. The deck was terrible, but it was fun. Alright, here we go. So you've seen a lot of these cards, I'm just kind of breeze through them. If you see like a foil that, that uh, we haven't seen before, I'll talk about it. Branded Light? Interesting. That, that, that Branded Light was in the same place it was in the first box. You got a batch of place at a big welcome labyrinth. I swear to God. Wait, no, I should have thought of pendulum. Okay, good. This is. Ooh! Okay, this is uh, Lindbrum the Hammer Dragon. Level 8 Dark Winged Beast requires Fawn of Albaz and a Beast, Beast, Warrior, or Winged Beast. Uh, you can only use the person's second effect of the card once per turn. Uh, when, when the effect of a. Fusion, Synchro, Exceeds, or Link Monsters activated. Uh, you can negate the you can negate that activated effect. Then you can return one monster on the field to the hand. And then during your opponent's turn, if this card is in your, in your graveyard, you can target one Fallen of Albaz in your graveyard. Either summon this card or that target, and then you banish the other one. I wish this card was better, though. I mean, lore-wise, this card's really cool. Um, and I guess in Branded Tri Brigade, I mean, I guess this card is playable, but... I don't see you making it in, like, it's just a standard branded deck. Like, Albion's a better monster to send off Mirrodin anyway. Got a Gishki. Gishki Ice Spear. I was, I was kind of surprised that Gishki got support. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't mind. I kind of like... I thought it was interesting, though. Uh, but I'm not happy about the ninja support. Why Why did ninjas get more support? They just got support in Darkwing Blast. Kashira. Ooh. Okay. This is not a bad secret to pull. Okay. So this is, I believe, this is uh, Dogmatica Albazoa. Level 12 Light Ritual Spellcaster. Um, must be Ritual Summon with Dogmatic Calamity. I uh, only use a second effect of the card once per turn. Dogmatica monsters you control are unaffected by the activated effects of your opponent's Fusion, Synchro, Excuse, and Link monsters. Second effect is, during your main phase, your opponent selects and applies one of the following effects. Either, uh, for every two cards in their extra deck, they send one card from their hand Sorry, for every two cards in your extra deck, they send one card from their hand or extra to the graveyard. Or uh, return all, fu all fusion, synchro, exceeds, and link monsters they control to the extra deck. This card's really funny. Uh, this card's actually quite good in, in Dogmatica. Uh, and I have seen, I've seen uh, some people mess around with like Despia, Dog Despia Dogmatica. And it works a lot better than you think it would. Okay. Castro 
Star and another Galaxy Over. Or I guess Over Galaxy? I don't know. No, sorry, that's, that's uh, uh, sorry, Galaxy 100. Oh, and there he is! This is Chaos number 62, Gal uh, Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Uh, so this card requires three level 8 light monsters, or you can exceed summon it by using a number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon you control as material. Um, at the start of your battle phase, you can attach one material from this card, and then it can attack uh, up to mo attack monsters three times. And then if this card has um, number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon as material, it gains this effect. Uh, it is unaffected by the effects of your opponent's monsters, and it gains attack equal to the combined level slash ranks of all monsters attached to this card's material times 100. So if you have this, plus, uh, I mean, you're probably going to have this, uh, Prime Photon, plus, like, Galaxy Eyes Photon underneath it. So that's already, it's already gaining, what, 1,600 attacks? It goes up to 56. You can attack three times. Uh, this card's really cute. I, I like it a lot. I don't know if it's what Galaxy, like, needed. Like, Galaxy is really not hurting for just big assholes, but it's still really cool. And uh, it's a level rank 8, and it, and it itself can use the material, so I guess you can, like, go into this thing, and then after all your stuff, like, you rank up with, like, full armor and shit. So that's what's... So I think, let's see, how many Ultras is that? That's, uh... Okay, so we got. Okay, so we're, so we're that's our that's our third foil. So we're still looking for. So we're still waiting for our ulti. We still got. Uh, we have ulti. Still got a lot of supers and ultis still here. Speaking of supers, ooh, we got it. There's the second one. There's the second one. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, this card. This is Abyss Actor. Ah, yeah, Abyss Actor dress, re dress, re dress rehearsal. At the start of the main phase one, you add an Abyss Actor monster and an Abyss script from the deck to your hand. This card's quite good. Um, my friend was saying that, like, if you pull the Starlight of this card, like, that kind of sucks, because this is, like, the least expensive Starlight you could ask for. Uh, but again, for the deck, a lot of the Abyss after support, I remember thinking, like, it's actually quite good for the deck. Um, it's just that, you know, I just wish the deck was a little more playable. Easy. That's our- okay. We got all- we got all the over- uh, Rise Hearts we need. Now we just need Over Hearts. Okay, well, there's a... Uh, that's our playset. That's a playset of Castro Field Spells, and I guess we have a second uh, Albazoa. That happened from the last one, too. We got, uh, got, the, got the same uh, card as a, a Super and a Secret. So coming up on the end of the right side. The Chaos Witch. I remember the, there's a big Chaos Archfiend in here, and I think that card's quite good. The materials are kind of hard, but the effect is actually quite solid. Uh, you, it floats into a Chaos Synchro monster, so in the OZG, uh, you could summon a Chaos Roller. Okay, so not bad, not bad, not bad. And, all right, going into the, the packs on the left side. Light, Chaos Beast. I remember thinking Chaos Beast is actually quite strong. I forget what he does. Uh, all he does, he, he can bring himself back. I think he, like, he does something with Banished Monsters. Let me check, actually. Yeah, the card. Uh, let's see. He just gained a thousand attack if, a, if the card is banished that turn. Uh, ah, you can target a Banished Light or Dark and then add it to your hand. That was the effect of Oh my god, are you certain? Well, I guess you gotta play a set of Valiants. I don't need you. I don't need you. You could have been anything else. You could have been that, that Arise Heart. Not Arise Heart. You could have been an Overheart. What are you doing? It's not looking good, actually. I don't think we're gonna get the, the, uh, the Overhearts that we need. We need at least two. Well, we still have hope. I mean, we that's only... Well, actually, no, that's our, that was our fourth super rare. That might have been it. Oh, 
ulti? Ooh, ulti gigantic Captain Sargus. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. I don't know. This is a little this is a little concerning. We don't have any overhearts. We're looking for overhearts at this point now. I think maybe we have like one more ultra. I'm trying to think, is there any like ult good ultra? We might, we might get that uh, Evigish we got last time. That's that's a ninja card. Honestly, I'm surprised that they didn't make uh, Tactics Tasking a short print. Sometimes in the OCG, they make certain cards uh, short printed that are hard, harder to find. Uh, for Birds of Destiny, that was Small World. And I think for Dark Moon Blast, like, the, there's a Bamboo Sword card in that set, and that was short printed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. Over hard. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, this is this is a uh, this is actually the card of Satan. This is Chaos Archfiend. Not not three contusions. Chaos King Archfiend. So he requires a light tuner plus one or more dark monsters. Uh, one or two dark monsters. You can only you can only use the third effect of this card once per turn. Uh. If a card is banished this turn, this card gains 2,000 attack. This card can attack each monster your opponent controls once each and all monsters destroyed this, by, uh, by battle. This card are banished instead of going to the graveyard. And then if this card leaves the field by an opponent's card, you can summon a light or dark. No, no, not that. You can summon a chaos synchro monster from your extra deck except for chaos archfiend. And then goes to the chaos goddess. Chaos Ruler, which doesn't really do anything, but, you know, I guess you could. I don't really know a lot of the viable monsters you can summon off of that card, but it seems strong. It seems that like it would only get better. Okay, thank God. We got him. Okay, we got we got Caster Rise Heart. Overheart, that's the card I'm looking for. Overheart, I get them mixed up. Overheart succeeds. This is the Rise Heart. Uh, so he says you can only use the first second effect of this card once per turn. Um... If you control a caster monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, if you do, for the rest of this turn, you cannot summon monsters with extra except for Xyz monsters. If this card is normal or a special summon, uh, you can activate... Sorry, if this card is normal or, or a special summon, you can banish one caster card from your deck except for this card. Um, this card level becomes 7. Also, banish the top 3 cards of your opponent's deck face down. That's, that card, this, that card's busted. Um, and he's one of the only normal summons in the deck. I don't know if you really need Psychic Beast now, because you, I need to play Psychic Beast in Cashier's. I don't know if you need it anymore, uh, with this. I suppose we're hurt to play both. Cashier card. Alright, so, alright, that's good. We got at least one Rise Heart. That's that's that that says something. That that goes well. Alright, last two packs. I think we're out of ultras now. We might have maybe one more ultra left. Okay, maybe not. Maybe one more ultra? Please? Possibly? Hello? We're only we've only gotten two ultras. I feel like we should get one more. Okay, never mind. I guess not. All right, bonus pack. Here we go. All right, what are we getting? Super, ultra, starlight, back to back starlights. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess you get the same one. That that's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, okay, okay. That's that was pretty good. That that this was a, this was a success. And with that, we're going to open up the next box. All right, and with the power of editing magic, we are back. Yeah, I was right. This is this is the, uh, the other ultra. This is uh, Bear Grab. Okay, let's get a bonus pack for later. And let's start with the right side. At this point, we're going to go through the cards real quick. 
again, branded light ice J card in the same spot. First pack every time. A three for three. God. Oh, those are those are ulti. That's our ulti this time. Is it? All right. Well, we got a play set of uh, a rice hearts. That's pretty good. As an ult, and this one's an ulti, no less. That's nice. Another Sargus. I think the real trick is can we pull up Prismatic out of a out of a random pack out of one of these packs? That'd be really nice. I doubt it though. All right, well there's our last. So got just rehearsal, and there's our last. That's our playset of tasks uh, taskings. Really good. This the, these three boxes have been have been uh, big successes. I swear to God. Are we? Uh, this might be Lavish actually. Oh, okay. There's a. Uh, Wow, we are we're, we're already down two ultras. Okay. And two ultras and a super. So, am I happy with one more ultra left? One more ultra left. I think we have like three supers. One more ultra, need three supers left, and then our secret. Oh, I thought that was the Valiant's card again. I was gonna be so mad. I'm also very curious what kind of deck we'll play. I want to play uh, Gigantic Captain Sargasson because that card is really good. Um, I, I wonder if Therians can make. I wonder if Therians can really use him. I guess they could. But I might have to, like do Spriggan Therians, I guess. That might be a deck. Alright. Caught off the end of the right side. So far. Honest, um, so far, got some pretty good hits, but... Alright, that's a place out of the, of the Gishkis. I think with this, we've basically seen every card in the set. Well, it's just a matter of getting the copies we need. Nice! Second Rise Heart. Good. Second oh, uh, second Rise Heart. Good. Good. Uh, with this, we have a potential to have that card be our, our secret. If only. Could be the bonus pack. That'd be that'd be even better. All right. So we haven't got we haven't found our secret yet. We got 15 packs left. It's our fourth big welcome labyrinth. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's uh, that's Limbrum. Okay, Limbrum, Limbrum. I think that's how you pronounce it. All right. So I think we're looking at. I think I think we're just looking at our maybe like one more super, one more super and a secret now. This box has been very slow so far. I kind of, I kind of like it. I don't know about you. I kind of like when it's slow, right? It lets you save the rest of the pack, all the box, all the packs, right? Because you open your secrets too fast, like, whoa, 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 shit! I don't know what to do with the rest of the packs now. Okay, well, got a second. That's our, that's our third uh, Albazoa. Watch, we're gonna get watch, we're gonna get a super Albazo just like we did last time.
coming up the last few packs. Anything good? Anything? We got anything good? Again, I think we're just missing a super now. Look at that. What, what a boss. Oh my god, I swear to god, it's probably the Valiance again. Ugh. 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 Okay. Only, all right, only a few more left, and then we get to our bonus pack. We got anything good in that bonus pack, huh? Okay, when I said, okay, when I said, maybe we'll get the super rare of the of our secret. I was joking. I was joking. I didn't mean that. If anything, I would have wanted that secret to be in a rise to be a rise heart, but it's fine. We still have we still have one more shot in the bonus pack. Can you imagine if that was a uh, prime photon? That'd be that'd be insane. Prime, that those usually those reprint. Oh, yes, yes, uh, those the reprint cards, Starlight reprint cards, are worth a lot of money. Because uh, basically, you can only get them on the first edition runs of these boxes. And basically, as long as you have one, that they're only going to go up in price. I remember seeing like a, I think the Black Wing to Dragon was quite a bit. I know Dark Requiem. That was the uh, the reprint card for Phantom Rage. That was like that was easily over a hundred dollars for by OCD standards. That's a lot of money. All right, last pack. Anything good? I think we're out of uh, I think we're out of all the foils. So this is probably nothing too special, but it's still hope. Oh yeah, we got a soup. We got a soup in the clothes. Okay, okay. Here we go. Our bonus pack. Get a rise from. Can we get a starlight? Any, either one of those, I'm okay with. Trying to look at it. Okay. Here we go. Three. Oh, stuck. Three. Two. One. Okay. Okay. You got the ice trade sticker. So, honestly. Honestly, not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. Uh, we got our place at a task. We got basically, got every card that I wanted. We got a place at a taskings. We got. We're missing one copy of Rice Heart, but two is still perfectly serviceable. Um, got all the caster cards that I was really looking for. We got some of the other stuff that I was kind of interested in, and we got our Starlight. So, honestly, yeah, this is a very productive. Very productive uh, three series boxes. So, please, if you like the video, please. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, whatever you do for like a YouTube video. And thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.